installation is completed successfully this is the instance name sql express sql administrator is my v features installs sql engine and this is the version click here to open a new window that connects to the instance you just installed now we are able to use our sa username for connecting our sql to our database this is my v and thanks for tuning in dilemma Hello everyone, this is Frank Sangvi from plemon.com and I'm back with another video and in this video we are going to learn about how to install SQL Server 2017 Express in our Windows Server 2016. In our previous video we learned about how to create a Windows Server 2016 VM instance in Google Cloud Compute Engine. We installed IIS. We created a website myangtutorial.com in IIS. We updated the name server for myangtutorial.com domain. We created a DNS zone for our myangtutorial.com. And we finally tested whether we are able to access our myangtutorial.com. So we covered all this thing in our previous video. And if you want to know about how to create a website using Windows Server 2016, you can check this video in this video we are going to install sql server express in our windows server 2016 if you have a license for sql server 2017 or any other version feel free to use the same on your server but for this video we are going to install sql server 2017 express edition i'm going to minimize this and i'm going to open internet explorer and I'm going to quickly type Google here, google.com. Okay, so we are going to search on Bing, uh, not an issue. So let me search for SQL Server 2017 Express Edition. And click on this SQL Server 2017 Express Edition. And we are going to install SQL Server database only we are not going to install sql server management studio because the server space is pre-shared so i don't want to use extra space so we are not going to install sql server management studio now i'm going to click on this download now your current security settings do not allow this file to be downloaded okay so this is uh for this is because of the server securities so i'm going to click on ok and then i'm going to press alt and then i'm going to click on tools and then I'm going to click on uh, Internet Options. And then we are going to click on Security tab. And I'm going to go click on Custom Level. And I'm going to search for Download. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to enable File Download. And then finally I'm going to click on OK. Uh, yes. Apply okay and uh, we need to restart our internet explorer so let me quickly copy this url and then i'm close this and then again i need to open internet explorer and then i'm to type this uh, i'm going to paste my url and then finally i'm going to click on download again download now and yes save this file and i want to run this file if user account controller asks for your permission click on yes and sql server express edition uh what you want select an installer type yes i want a basic installation type accept uh, read the license terms if you're fine with this click on uh, accept express edition specific sql server installation location i'm fine with this uh minimum free space is this download size is this i'm fine with this click on install downloading the install package extracting rules engine Installation is completed successfully. This is the instance name SQL Express. SQL administrator is my V. Features installs SQL engine and this is the version. You have also option to install SSMS, but I don't want to install SSMS, so I'm going to skip this. 
and this is the option to connect now click here to open a new window that connects to the instance you just installed so let's uh, click on this and uh, we are connected here and what is this customize option so let's see what we have for customize option okay so this is the, this is going to be update our sql server to run 17 in express edition solutions so i don't want this thing i don't want to customize anything so i'm going to click on cancel and uh, yes definitely so if you want to install ssms feel free to install and if you want to close this install or close this so i'm going to minimize this and this is our sql cmd and if by mistake you closed uh, this window then you can open command prompt so let me quickly open command prompt windows are cmd now i'm going to type sql cmd and then i'm to hyphen s then i'm going to type this uh, server name so let me again open a command prompt and i'm going to say host a uh, host name so host name is win 2016 so i'm going to say win 2016 and then backslash i want sql sql express we select the default installation type so in default installation type the instance name is sql express so i'm going to type the same here sql express and then enter and now we are connected to our sql server database instance so i am able to create a new database so let's say i want to create a new database i'm going to type command create database and i need to say it's a test database and uh, finally i'm going to type go and then enter okay and now i'm able to use this database test database uh test database and enter go enter now we are in test database let me again uh change my database to master and enter now uh, let me type go and then enter now the first thing i want to perform here is i want to enable sql server authentication mode for this i'm going to type the command and if you want to check all these commands all these commands are available in my blog post for enabling the sql server authentication mod i need to first enable the default sql server user sa for this i'm going to type alter and then i need to say alter uh, login sa and then i need to say it's it is going to be enable and then finally i'm going to type go and then enter okay no error now i want to add a password for our sa user for this again i need to say alter and i need to say login sa and then i need to say with uh with password and uh, equals to uh, we need to provide a password so i'm going to type my password here and then enter go and then enter again now we are able to use sa to connect okay and now the next thing i want is i want to check the login mod for our sql server for this i'm going to paste uh, i'm going to use this command enter and then i'm to type go and then enter again and right now our login mod is windows anti-authentication only we want to change this so how to change this uh, for this we are going to execute this command so this command is going to so this command is going to change the sql server login mod this command is going to change the sql server login mod so i'm going to press enter and then go and then enter so it is going to uh, it is going it is displaying zero rows of update ignore this again execute this execute master sys dot xp login config login mod we are going to execute this one more time go and now our login mod is mixed 
now we are able to use our essay username for connecting our sequels of our database using username and password for this i want to restart my sql server for this i am going to open a uh, windows and then i am to click on microsoft sql server 2017 and then i am to select sql server 2017 configuration yes and then i am to select sql server services and then i am going to stop this uh i think i need to select restart instead of stop and then i'm going to again click on this and then i'm to select start it again okay and now our sql server is up and running and let me try one more time to connect our sql server database using sql cmd and this time i'm going to use uh our uh, sql server authentication mode and uh we need to say it's win 2016 backslash it's sql sql express sql express and then i want to provide my username it's sa and then i'm going to use my password here and now we are connected to our sql server database using uh, sa username and password and let me quickly use our test database data base go and now we are connected to test database so this is how you can download and install sql server express in your windows server 2016 some important reminders 